welcome to the craft portion of my Let It Ride theme. We read the wonderful book, Snakes on a Train, and we did the fabulous song, Wheels on the Bus. And now we're going to make a sailboat craft. Now you don't have to do it, you know, as I've been telling you, you don't have to do all three episodes together. I just did it that way because I like themes and I like them to work together for me in chunks. So I use the themes for me. You can put it together any way you want. You can mix and match old ones from last spring with new ones from now, from, from February, March. Totally up to you. And thank you very much to Ashley G, who I've already mentioned, who's putting these segments up for me on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, Ashley, so much. She is such a huge help. All right, let's get started. We're going to make a boat today. We talked about trains and we talked about buses and now we're gonna talk about boats. And I am gonna take the theme down just so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I never do tell you my name, do I? Well, it's right there. I'm Shari, Miss Shari. Hopefully some of you know me from story times. Hopefully we'll be back together again soon making crafts together. But you can do this at home. You need a popsicle stick or any that you could get a stick from your yard, from a tree, a little tree branch, really whatever. Just a, a, a straw would work, cut in half, so it's about this size. You need a piece of styrofoam. I had a styrofoam cooler that I ripped this off the lid. It was really perfectly timed. I got it in the mail and it worked perfect. You probably have styrofoam around your house. You could use a sponge too and cut a sponge into a smaller piece. And then, you just stick, stick the, stick it nice and stir so it stays in so it doesn't fall out. And now all you need to do is add the mast or the sail, right? And you can use construction paper for this. You can use a piece of foam, but lighter is probably better. Construction paper is probably better. Um, but typing paper would work too, like you use for computer printing. That would work too. And then you're gonna cut a sail, right? And you can cut your sail any shape you want. I'm gonna do the traditional triangle shape. And then, well, I'm gonna take my stick out because you really should put your sail on first. I'm gonna take my sail out. I think I'm gonna do it this way. So almost so it looks like a flag. I think I'm gonna do it that way. And I'm gonna use tape because I don't know how you all feel about glue sticks. I do have a glue stick that I could use, but I'm gonna use tape. I just feel like tape is easier. So I'm gonna, I've got my stick and I've got my sail and I'm gonna put it right here. Give it a little room so I can tape it this way. I'm gonna do one piece there and then I'm gonna do a second piece. right at the top. So I did one sort of closer to the bottom and I'm gonna do one at the top here. All right, and now I'm gonna put my sail back in. And I've got a sailboat. And I brought a little container that I put some water in so I can float my sailboat and there it is. When the weather gets better, you could take this to a nearby park, like Carpenter Lake Park, right? I think that you're allowed to sail. You could probably sail your little boats there. Just make sure you can get them back. <laughs> so don't let them float out too much into the pond. Or better yet, where you won't lose them, you can do it in your bathtub, right? And to make your sail waterproof, you could get some contact paper that you can buy at the uh, the craft store or again, the hardware store, and you can cover your sail with plastic so it's waterproof. So I hope you had fun making a boat with me and thank you so much for joining me at the craft segment of Storytime by Design. Thank you.